the first time in a while. I have got one of these. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I apologise in advance, I'm a little bit sick at the moment. I a really bad cough which I'm going to try and edit out. But <clears throat> this video could not wait because I got a parcel today. So, for those of you who don't know, you can order fish online and they will ship it to your door. Kind of weird, but I actually find it a lot safer than buying fish from a pet store. Um, <clears throat> depending on where you're getting it from, I order most of mine from livefish.com. Not sponsored or anything, it's an Australian store and so far all of their fish have been absolutely amazing and I can't fault them. Um, they have a really wide variety of plants as well, but mainly their fish are always healthy. And it's great. And if anything goes wrong, they're happy to sort it out quick, um, straight away. So, today, I thought I would unbox this thing. So, what did I order? I ordered a bunch of plants for the axolotl tank and for the Wallstrad tank that Rosie is in. This video might come out before the actual model tape. It's getting a makeover. I also got some fish. I decided to finally cave and get some white cloud minnows for the extra model tank. Been tossing up getting them for a while, decided to try it. Hopefully Pedro does not eat them all. I also caved and got some cherry shrimp, which is something I've been wanting to try for quite a while. And I finally caved and got them. Alrighty. So, I don't know about other companies, but my fish ship there fish in a polystyrene box. Um, they will ship it with a heater if you need a heater. They won't if you don't. I'm not expecting this order to have a heater. Because white clouds are cold water fish and cherry shrimp can deal with cold water. Looking okay. The fish are going berserk. This will be kind of awkward to film, but these are the white clouds. And these are the shrimp. Now, there is a dead looking shrimp in there, but I reckon it's probably just a malt. Yep, I would say that's a malt. All right, so here's the shrimp. They're absolutely tiny. They're very pale, but I'm sure they'll be fine later on. Um, the blue tint of the water, I believe, is medication. Don't quote me on that. I've seen it a couple of times, but not a whole lot. And then here are the white clouds. So these guys are looking pretty pale at the moment, which is fair. So I've just been in shipping. They are all alive, all 10 of them. And I'm sure they're gonna color up really well once I get them in the tank. Let's put those back down. We've also got, as I said, the plants. These are wrapped up in newspaper. They should be okay. I can't tell until I get them out of the bag. I'm curious to know. Have you guys ordered? Have you guys ever ordered fish online before? Do you prefer it? Do you hate it? What's your opinion? I honestly much prefer it. Um, there's also a massive variety of things, which is great. Whereas the pet stores you tend to get the basics around here. 
Alright, so they've just put all the plants together, so I hope that's okay for them. So, I will need to take a look at what I actually bought. Oh, I've forgotten. So this here is a really cool plant. It is, let me get my phone. Alrighty, this is a type of java fern. It's called a crested java fern. And it's got these really cool, like, I don't know, weird things going on with the leaves. This is for the axolotl tank. Um, java fern is a much loved plant of mine. It is very easy to look after. So I thought I'd get a really cool variety to add to it. Okay, so, I gotta work out what these are. This one here, just gotta check my email, is Red Luigia. Luigia? Luigia? And this is one of the ones for the Wallstra tank. I'm. It should go quite red in the light. I'm hoping it will. And this is just to add a bit of colour to it. We've also got this massive plant, which is for the axolotl tank. Look at those roots. Oh my god. This one here, I'm gonna butcher this name. This one is. Essendorus X. Echidnodorus Marble Queen, I think. That's got some really nice heart-shaped leaves sort of things going on. Massive roots. And this is going to be one of the background plants of the X Little Tank. This one, I believe, can grow submerged and immersed. It is, from memory, a fully aquatic plant, but it's just like, it can actually go up through the surface and be fine. <clears throat> We've also got my first crypt, so we'll see how this goes. This is Wentil Green. That's pretty cool. And then we've got the last plant, which is, this is Chainsword, Narrow Leaf. This one's an actual little plant. Um, I'm hoping this one's gonna like branch out all over the place. And it looks like it's got some duckweed on it too, which is good because I've always wanted some duckweed. So hopefully that actually works. So now I'm going to put these plants in the tanks and put the fish and shrimp in the tanks and I'll also give you a sneak peek of the axolotl tank. Mm -hmm. 